Now the hearing for the Supreme Court appeal which was filed by Atiko Abubakar and Mr. Peter will be starts today <laughs> as they seek to remove Bola Ahmed Tinubu as president of Nigeria. Atiko and Obi, they did not like the judgment that the tribunal gave and so they felt it was necessary for them to go straight to the Supreme Court. Not bad at all. Article said because Ajar on top as he filed for the permission to tender a copy of Tilibu's Chicago State University records, which showed that Baba submitted a fake certificate to INEC. <laughs> Is the Nigerian court a hope for the common man? Anyway, people don't really make more of the talks and anyhow, and they are showing their supporters that they're going to win at the Supreme Court. Hmm. They said that they're very confident that the Supreme Court will deliver justice <laughs> in the matter. <laughs> But which of the Supreme Court? Now, I'm gonna tell me. She not waiting for Nigeria. I've been mean, waiting for Dubai. Which one? She not Dubai Supreme Court. Now, they want me. I was even gonna play me as sure as I did, but honestly, but because of copyright, <laughs> I just let it slide. So Peter Obina, he did not win. It is PDP that won. They play. <laughs> Nigerians are really suffering, man, and it no go better for anybody where they support this evil and wicked government for Nigeria. And I tell you, some people that I see online, they don't just come online because they are happy. They don't come online because they have money. No. They come online because they just have to make ends meet. Well, my for my area where they sell pepper and tomatoes, I don't patronize her anymore now. They like come I know we get. She was one of those people where they support this government during the election. And the last conversation that we had, I remember some some months back, she still even came and they tell me say, eh, I've read and it try, but Peter Obi wouldn't have done anything. She, this one they whine me. See the word this one. <laughs> the day we go come out tribalism for our eyes, eh? And that day, that progress will start our life. Yeah. It shall never be well with anybody. It shall never be well with anybody. I will say it again. It shall never be well with anybody we support we support this evil government and wickedness for Nigeria. We are our biggest problem. Spur man will eat yourself out and you go see the mind. <laughs> and you go see the game mind they support pains and penury. It is off out. And the game mind they support impo impoverishment. It is support poverty. Come and see the woman now, she don't live in it. Nobody's buying from her anymore. Even her own APC people are no, are no, they are no longer regular customers. They don't buy from her anymore. Why? <laughs> Money no day, mama. Money no day. In another news, Lagos State has shut down the Alabama International Market. And according to instructions, according to instructions by Tokubo Wahab, who is the Commissioner for Environment in Lagos, he said he is sealing up the market because of poor waste disposal practices that's one failure for the marketers to pay their waste bills too and you know some gross yama yama environmental sanitation offenses you know what it is now so yeah <laughs> but i remember they used to do sanitation back then in lagos now so what happened what changed what did happen oh no man this is just anyways guys what is what is the take on today's gist thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed you know what to do, I think. Click on that subscribe button and do well to like this video. I will be back in another one. Quicker than you can ask. But until then guys, what is your take on today's story? Drop your comments below. I'm gonna bye bye. Odaro. <laughs>